Hello and welcome back for another VeChain price prediction update. And in this video, I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the VeChain chart and also give you my next price targets. And before I do so, show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the channel membership. And you can see that here on the VeChain chart, after seeing our massive crash on the 10th of June, in a move that gave us a new bear market low at around the 0.01316 dollar mark, we started this recovery to the upside, where I have been tracking a five wave move to the upside, where I'm now terming this move to the upside as that first wave to the upper side. Then we saw this pullback over here in what I have been terming as a second wave to the lower side, in a move that has also managed to get into the minimum target areas highlighted on the charts using this red target area that I came up with by connecting the fibs from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one, giving me a target area between the fib level 0 0.5 and the fib level 0 0.78. And you can see that here on the charts, we saw a reaction of the area between the fib level 0 0.5 and the fib level 0 0.618. Then afterwards, we have been seeing a very nice bounce to the upside in what I believe is the start of an impulsive wave in the formation of this wave 3. And yesterday, we saw a break above the wave 1 high, which was enough confirmation that the move we are seeing on the charts is a bit impulsive and giving you target areas for this third wave to the upper side by connecting the fibs from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one, then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave, that now gives me a target area for the wave three at the fib level 1.618, and that is at around the 0.01957 dollar mark, and that is the minimum that I'm expecting VeChain to do in the formation of this wave three. And for that move to play out, we need to continue holding above the wave one high, because as long as we are holding above it, that is enough confirmation that this move is a bit impulsive. Then from that point, we can watch for a break above our next key area of resistance at around the 0 0.01798 dollar mark. And a break above that, we can watch out for a successful retest before we can fully maximize our minimum, our target area for that that wave to the upper side. So that is the move that I'm eyeing on here on the V chain chart. We also need to have in mind that since yesterday and for the past few days, we have been seeing some bullishness in these markets. There are chances that at some point we are going to first cool off before we can fully maximize our target areas in the formation of that wave three. And in that move, maybe we can see a retest of this high, that is the wave one high at around the 0.01644 dollar mark. That is a possible scenario that you can expect. And once the retest is in and a success, then we can continue gearing up and continue knocking higher prices. And in case we lose the wave one high, then we can expect a bit of a pullback where we can maybe find support at the 20 day MA on the one hour chart or maybe on the four hour chart. And then from that point, we can expect a turn around to the upside, fully maximizing our target areas. So that is something that I wanted to highlight. There are chances that we can expect a bit of a pullback before we can continue seeing higher prices, fully maximizing our target areas. And the reason for that is that for the past few days, we have been seeing a lot of bullishness in the market and there are chances that we might have a bit of a high in the market that uh, needs to be corrected before we can continue gearing up. And that is what I'm expecting here on the VeChain chart. And once you see a uh, wave three high in place, then we can expect a wave four, then a wave five to the upside, completing a five wave move on the charts. And once VeChain is able to give us a five wave move on the charts, then we can expect a, an ABC corrective structure on the charts uh, to also play out. And once you see such a move, that will be enough confirmation that VeChain has now been able to put in place a low, that is a, a new bear market low 
and has now started another impulse to the upside in a move that maybe could possibly take us to all time highs so that is what i'm expecting on the vchain chart on the indicators we are trading at around the 78 mark on the rsi and that means we are in the overbought territory also taking a look at the macd we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.